Welcome to Science and Technology Briefing. The content of the briefing includes IT unemployment soars to 4.3% amid overall jobs growth. Top issues in Detroit 3's negotiations with UAW. U.S. lawmakers press White House for tougher enforcement of China chip rules. Hackers advertise sale of 23 and me data on leaked data forum. Australia is on the hunt for the next big thing in esports. Could it be hiding in remote Queensland? IT unemployment soars to 4.3% amid overall jobs growth. Wall Street Journal. The artificial intelligence, AI, boom may be slowing growth in traditional IT careers and entry-level roles, according to a report from consulting firm Janko Associates. The IT unemployment rate rose to 4.3% last month, compared to the overall rate of 3.8%. The rise in AI use has reduced hiring for entry-level roles such as customer service and telecommunications. However, companies are slowing hiring for such roles, rather than making wholesale replacements, the report said. Top issues in Detroit 3's negotiations with UAW. Reuters. The United Auto Workers, UAW, has achieved a significant breakthrough in labor talks with the Detroit 3 automakers. General Motors, GM, has made concessions by agreeing to allow workers at joint venture battery plants to be covered by union contracts. This development marks progress in negotiations, which have been ongoing for three weeks since the strikes first began. U.S. lawmakers press White House for tougher enforcement of China chip rules. Reuters. Two senior Republican lawmakers in the U.S. House of Representatives, Rep. Michael McCall and Mike Gallagher, have called on the Biden administration to enforce tougher export controls on advanced computing chips and the tools used to make them being sent to China. The lawmakers argue that the existing rules, implemented last year, have loopholes that need to be closed. The call comes after Huawei unveiled a new smartphone containing advanced chips made by China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp., SMIC despite U.S. sanctions. The lawmakers also urged the administration to cut off Chinese companies' access to powerful artificial intelligence chips accessed through cloud computing services and to enforce rules restricting Chinese companies that do not allow U.S. officials to verify compliance with export rules. Hackers advertise sale of 23 and me data on leaked data forum. Reuters. A hacker is claiming to have stolen millions of pieces of data from the family genetics website's 23 and me. However, 23andMe has stated that their systems have not been breached and that the hacker may have collected passwords stolen from other sites and reused them to gain access to 23andMe accounts. The hacker used a technique called credential stuffing, which involves using stolen passwords from one site to gain access to another. Two-factor authentication can help protect against these types of hacks. The size of the breach and the specifics of what was stolen are still unclear. Australia is on the hunt for the next big thing in esports. Could it be hiding in remote Queensland? ABC. The Queensland University of Technology, QUT, in Australia is using its sport tech van to bring performance measurement technologies and esports to remote and regional communities. The van is equipped with a bikes, a golf simulator, reaction time equipment, broadcasting equipment, and esports computers. The university hopes that by providing these opportunities to children in remote areas, it can help identify and develop potential Olympic and Paralympic talent. The van also aims to open up education pathways for children in remote communities and show them the opportunities available to them. Hello, viewers of the Six Dimensional Briefing. I am Dr. Six, your trusty observer from the world of six dimensions. Today, we have quite an interesting mix of news to discuss, so let's dive right in. First up, it seems that the rise of artificial intelligence is having an unexpected impact on the IT industry. According to a report, the unemployment rate in traditional IT careers has risen to 4.3% while the overall rate is 3.8%. The increased use of AI has led to a decrease in hiring for entry-level roles like customer service and telecommunications. But fear not, companies are not replacing these roles entirely, just slowing down recruitment. So, it's more like a slight detour on the road rather than a complete shutdown. In other news, the United Auto Workers, UAW, has made progress in negotiations with the Detroit 3 automakers. General Motors, GM, has agreed to allow workers at joint venture battery plants to be covered by union contracts. This is a significant breakthrough after three weeks of strikes. Looks like both sides are finally revving up the negotiation engines. Moving on, two U.S. lawmakers are pressing the White House for tougher enforcement of export controls on advanced computing chips sent to China. They argue that existing rules have loopholes that need to be closed. This comes after Huawei managed to include advanced chips made by China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corp., SMIC, in their new smartphone, 
despite U.S. sanctions. The lawmakers also want to restrict Chinese companies' access to powerful AI chips and enforce rules that ensure compliance with export regulations. Seems like they're trying to put a wrench in China's chip game. Now, here's a twist in the world of cybersecurity. A hacker claims to have stolen data from the popular family genetics website 23andMe. However, 23andMe denies any breach and suggests that the hacker may have used stolen passwords from other sites to gain access. This technique, called credential stuffing, highlights the importance of using two-factor authentication to protect against such hacks. The extent of the breach and what exactly was stolen are still unclear. Looks like this hacker is playing a genetic game of hide-and-seek. Finally, let's talk about esports. The Queensland University of Technology, QUT, in Australia is taking esports to remote and regional communities using its sport tech van. This van brings performance measurement technologies, esports computers, and other equipment to children in these areas. The aim is to identify and develop potential Olympic and Paralympic talent, as well as open up education pathways for these communities. Who knows, the next big esports star could be hiding in the remote corners of Queensland. And there you have it, folks. Today's news covered a range of topics from the impact of AI on IT jobs to cybersecurity hacks and the rise of esports in remote areas. It's always fascinating to see how technology continues to shape our world. Now, I invite you, my brilliant viewers, to share your thoughts on these news stories. What do you make of the impact of AI on the IT industry? Are you concerned about cybersecurity breaches? And are you excited about the potential of esports in remote communities? I can't wait to hear your thoughts and answer any questions you may have. So, let the discussion begin. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.